Good morning. It has been a few days since we've been out at the farm. It's been raining and about 50 mile an hour winds. But today, it is a gorgeous 50. Sun is shining. Next week, we're looking at 75, 80 degrees. Uh, we're going to be planting some corn. Well, Dad will be planting some corn. I will probably be working some ground today. If not, maybe I'll be hauling a little grain out of here. Uh, he did go and get the Vermeer so that we can fix some of these tile holes out here before he gets it planted. As far as the spring's concerned, I'm done with the beans. I haven't started the corn yet. Still need to finish kind of rinsing it out a little more uh, and then get mixed up with corn. The corn product, about halfway done with corn, so I've got some acres to cover with the sprayer, but it's been so windy. Um, it's been about 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts and 25 mile an hour winds throughout the day. It's even a little too windy today, really. Well, I think we're going to get the Vermeer unloaded, unhook that trailer, get Dad hooked up to the seed trailer. Dad headed out. I'm going to be taking this blue truck over to a more 80 and he's going to be picking me up from there. Um, that way the truck is there for when he gets the planter over there. He can take it back over to his dually for, with the seed tender, or excuse me, with the seed trailer. That way he's all done and moved. I don't have to worry about him the rest of the day. He can just keep planting corn. Um, once we stage that for him, get the planter moved, he's going to take me up to the soil finisher where I'm going to sit in there the rest of the day finish up that 100 acres or so that uh, the tractor's sitting on now, and then I can bring it home because the next field that needs worked is just right across from the house here, so, or the last field that needs worked, really. The rest of these farms are stripped. Uh, but anyway, we, I almost took, out of, took off out of here without putting those sweeps in the truck because the plans have changed so much so many different times we forgot that that soil finisher needed sweeps so luckily I remembered that before I headed out of here all right that is headed to the other field I'm gonna meet him there and we'll get this equipment shuffle done and out of the way this morning I know of one sweep that definitely needs to be changed on this piece of equipment here. That is really bad. This was the one. That's one of them. It was very bad. Oh yeah, barely on the stick. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> 
but when I broke that hose, I did blow a lot of hydraulic oil out, so. All right, that is moved. I've got new sweeps on the soil finisher here. We've got some more hydraulic fluid in the in the beast. So I, I did split a line the other day when I was working ground on the, the disc. <clears throat> The flared fitting just gave and it just snapped away. Wasted a lot of hydraulic fluid, but we got her fixed. New line is ran through. Everything should be good to go. Um, we do have a forecast. It's very dry right now, very dry here. There's still moisture in the ground because it's been so cold, but I am going to shallow this thing up basically as far as it'll go to where I might even be seeing a, a sweep every now and then. Um, that way I'm just not, I'm leveling it up a bit, but I'm not pulling moisture out of the ground because I don't know how this weather's looking. It could stay dry for a very long time. And I don't want to work deep, pull this moisture out of the ground, and then have the sun just bake it off. So that's my plan. So before I even get running here, I'm just immediately going to shallow this thing up. Right now I'm running at just under, just under B. I'm going to shallow this thing all the way up to about the bottom of C maybe. We'll see how it looks when I get up there. I'm, I might be pulling up too moisture and I might shallow it even more. But I'm gonna fold this thing up and head over to the patches of this farm. Get those done before it gets dark. Um, because I've got 100 acres here and it's already after moving and not getting here too early because we didn't know if we were going to plant or not anyway. So the weather was bad. It's already one o'clock so I'm sure it'll be dark by the time I get this finished. And for those of you that don't know, uh, I keep calling it a soil finisher. It is literally just a field cultivator uh, but the only reason it's called a soil finisher is because it's got the disc gang on the front. Typically a field cultivator doesn't have that. Uh, it's just your sweeps and then um, some kind of harrow on the back. This has got the disc gang in the front so we can chop up stuff if we need it uh, which with some of these fields, these this bean ground especially, they get really dirty. This, is, this one's really clean but they, they get a lot of weeds. We like to be able to put the disc down and be able to cut through any of those weeds or anything that's standing still, some of the corn stalks. This can run just on standing corn stalks as well uh, if you didn't rip it, but I don't I don't think we've ever used it for that, for that case, but you can do it if you want to because you've got those disc hangs in the front. Uh, yeah, that's the only difference here. This is a, a 2310, I believe, deer soil finisher amazing amazing piece of equipment typically i don't like folding up in the field but i wanted to make sure everything was going to run we get that new line on and i'm just going to back it out we've already got this entrance packed down like a road i'm going to have to hit it about a hundred times i'm sure so i'm not too worried about it the reason i leave it down in the field is so that the weight of these wings aren't just on the four mainframe tires we've got it spread out between the other wing tires and everything so there's a creek right over right there runs along the field here uh, we ended up putting crp in alongside the creek about 60 or 70 feet i think with we don't want any runoff going into the creek so we did put some crp in here so that we keep the sprayer away uh, you don't have to do this as long as you just make sure you border it with something that's that's okay. Oh, not deep at all. Hard. It's hard. We're running a little deeper than that. Run my disc a little deeper, I think. I don't know yet. Half C. I'm 
not pulling up much moisture. I know you probably can't see hardly anything because the dust is flying out the tractor, but on the way back, I can show you. It's leveling up real nice. I could probably run an 11th if I wanted to, but I am running about, pulling at about seven mile an hour, so. That's looking really good. Not too dark, I'm not pulling up too, mo too much moisture, it's leveling up real nice. I think we are at where we want to set. Now we just ride in this machine for the next 10 hours. I don't think the planter would like that. Neither would the combine, so I better move these out of the way. There's just so many rocks in this field, it's unreal. We have spent, I don't even know how many hours, I don't want to know. Coming out here and cleaning up rocks every single year. And there's just, I, I don't even know where they're coming from. I mean, loader buckets full, several loader buckets full every year. There's just more and more. I'm going to get that out. The bright side, eventually I'm just going to break the whole rock away. Give it an hour. Wow. This thing is going out of the field immediately. I got two, two, at the same time. Come on now. That's how many rocks are in this field. I got two lodged in the disc gangs at the same exact time. Just, yeah, unbelievable. Anyway, <laughs> leveling up beautifully. We're almost done with the two patches. Getting a wind burn just standing out there for five minutes. I got everything I wanted done before dark. I got the patches done and then I actually put a border around the rest of this this field here so that I didn't have to try and figure out where our beans were planted. I wanted to do that in the daylight. I'm running at a slight angle from my rows from last year because when I come back with the planter or when my dad comes back with the planter I don't want one of his row units to just drop into one of my tracks with the sweeps that I'm laying in right now. So I go to slight angle so that he's never, he's never just running with the finisher. Yeah, I'll just be working ground the rest of the day and hopefully I don't get blown away. This wind is absolutely brutal. I don't think there's any storms that are supposed to come in. I haven't really checked. I haven't looked at 
any weather apps or anything like that all day. I figured it was going to be dry, but it got dark pretty quick, and the wind's just progressively gotten worse. I can't even hardly open the door to use the restroom, <clears throat> let alone use the restroom. Anytime I get out to pee, I'm usually sending it over to the neighbor's field because the wind's carrying it so bad. Great day for spraying. And as I'm sitting here talking about it, I don't I don't think it's supposed to storm or anything. It's sprinkling on the on the windshield. So maybe there is a rain supposed to come in. I don't know. I mean it looks like rain. It looks terrible out, but I'm just gonna keep chugging along. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a rain because it's really dry here. Well, that wasn't too bad. I think it was about, I don't know, six or seven hours to do 100 acres. Uh, that seems about right. I could probably do about, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 acres an hour. I did, I did stop and eat lunch for about a half an hour. Had to move between patches and whatnot, which took some time, so. Not bad. Getting done at about 8.40 tonight. Still gotta run this home, but Pretty early night. 